Uh, hello, uh, in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to generate this signed JSON web token. And uh, this function, jwt.sign, JSON web token sign, uh, expect your key to be in a certain format. And in order to generate that uh, key, public and private key in the right format, you need to use these two lines of code. On the uh, right hand side, you can see here is the code to generate your private key. This line of code. And he, here is the code to uh, manipulate your public key to have the right format. So two lines of code. First, generate the keys. Then you run, run this line of code. And you have two uh, key files. And the private key file is the one you want to use. If you do not uh, generate the keys in the right format, you'll get this error. Error, blah, 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 route routines get name no start line this kind of crap because that function is very peculiar it expect the key to be in a certain format so that's why you need to use that those two lines of code once you generate the key you can just grab your private key in the directory and i use the file systems and read file sync to read that key and then i pass this key as the argument to my uh, json web tokens sign function okay so here it is being served uh, now, if I make a post request, you can see that I will get my JSON Web Token uh, without any problems. Yeah, if I use a key without the correct format, let's say we replace this guy with a with something like "hello," it does not meet the format of the uh, JSON Web Token key. Let's reserve this guy. And you request the key, you'll get the same error message. Blah, blah, blah. Routines, get name, no start line, blah, blah. So, so remember, you need, to, uh, you need to use the right format. So if you use the right format to generate the keys, uh, you will get the right token. Yeah, no problem. Okay, that's today's video. Thank you.